Hey guys, what is up? I thought for today's video, just like a real quick, I don't know, like mini catch up, mukbang, kind of, mukbang, mukbang, have you sit, kind of vibe. So I've got just some ciabatta, olive oil and balsamic vinegar, which is the best. And then this is like a, I don't know, like a bean stew, I guess. So we have onions, garlic, carrots, um, celery, cannellini beans, tin tomatoes, and then just water and spinach, I think. Oh, I think I put a bit of chilli flakes in there. A little bit. And just salt and pepper. Hmm. That's good. That's mm. so filling. So, what is new? Mm. Mm. I will tell you what is new that I have not like announced or talked about anywhere else and it's so exciting and I'm so excited so anyone that knows me knows that I am like like I I'm like dying to go to Bali right like I'm just obsessed with it. I've never been um and I just really want to go like I'm dying to go and it's always on my like vision boards and my goal lists and all that kind of thing. And then we've been like saving for a house, which let's be honest is fairly impossible because it's just so much money for a deposit. But I had a couple of coaching sessions with this incredible um, coach called Amy Rushworth. <laughs> Um, on Instagram, she's Wellness with Amy, and she's incredible. And you should follow her because she is, li she's just like life changing. She's incredible. Mm. So I've done a couple of coaching sessions with her, which have been <laughs> life changing. Like, oh my goodness, I've figured out so much shit about myself in like two hours with her. It's insane. Anyway, I'm going off topic. I'm really good at doing that, aren't I? Mm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so she um, was doing a retreat in Bali. So I like saw on her page and was like, oh, oh my God, like this looks amazing. I'd love to go. Mm. And I was kind of like talking to my husband. And I was like, oh, this sounds like so good. It's like a, um, like a wellness retreat. So it's like Pilates, meditating, journaling, confidence workshops with her. And then like, Cult, like getting a bit of culture over there so like going visiting the temples and going out for dinner and oh, my, it just sounds like incredible and I was like oh yeah no I can't you know it's home for a house blah 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 all this kind of stuff and then my husband was like why don't you just go I was like what what like oh my god like I was like I can't just I can't just like go to Bali for so the retreat is six days I was like, oh, I can't just go. And in my head, I was generally like, I can't go. And anyway, long story short, I'm fucking going to Bali. So I'm fucking excited. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. So, so that is exciting. That is at the end of April next year. And holy shit. I'm so excited. Like, oh my God, I can't even explain. I just can't wait. Like, I feel, I don't, like, have you guys ever felt like you're meant to go somewhere? Like, you, like, your soul is being, like, pulled to a certain place. Like, anywhere in the world. That is how I feel about Bali. And I don't know why. And I feel like, oh, I just feel like I'm going to absolutely love it. And I'm so excited. And I feel like it's not real. Because this has been on, like, my vision board and my goals and like oh my god just in my journal for years and then I'm going I'm going to Bali and oh my goodness I can't wait so there's that that is probably the most exciting news I have for you in other news what else do I have going on Um, I don't know much else exciting. Um, I forget. Oh, so I had 
a, a bit of like a digital detox from social media and mainly mainly Instagram. Mm. That was was that last week? Maybe that was last week. I can't remember. Last week or the week before, whichever, whatever. Um and like initially I was like, oh yeah, maybe I'll just take like a couple of days off, just take the weekend off. And then that turned into a week and oh my god you guys, it is the best thing like I've ever done for mental health. It's I like oh my goodness, just so refreshing and like ugh. Mm. Like I don't even know how to explain it. Like I love Instagram, okay? I love Instagram. I think it's such an amazing place to connect with people and to share my message. Um and like the connections that I've made on Instagram are literally like life changing. I feel like this is in the way. I'm sorry. Um like the, the some of the accounts I follow on Instagram have literally changed my life. Like whether that is through the message that they share or inspiring me or like helping me whatever like the connections i've made on instagram are incredible and i'm so grateful for those connections i've made mm. but being someone that is on there as a brand as a personal brand in a business it's so easy so freaking easy to get just sucked into this whole stupid world of comparison and numbers and how many likes you get how many followers you got watching your following number it's like oh it's obsessive and i'd probably even go as far as to say like i'm addicted to social media and that is something that i kind of like thought maybe yeah okay and then what in my week off um like not going on there so in that detox week Mm. I kind of like realized that me going on Instagram was just basically a way of me seeking approval from others because because I wasn't confident in myself and wasn't confident in what I had to offer I felt like I wasn't enough and I just feel like the last, well, this whole year, but really like the last few months have just been a massive, a crazy journey of self-discovery and, oh my God, just, just crazy. And I just learned so much stuff about myself. Anyway, I've gone off track. What was I even saying? Digital detox. Mm, yeah. So I realised that the reason I was like so addicted to Instagram and the interaction from Instagram was because I wasn't confident just being myself. Oh my God, I've just noticed that one of the leaves of my plant is dying. <sighs> no. Okay, you guys, yesterday in my bedroom, well, I keep, I kept thinking like it smelled like a Christmas tree. But every time I went near my bedside table, but we don't have a real Christmas tree. We have a fake tree. So, Georgia, how could it be a Christmas tree? Um, and then I realised the plant I've got next to my bed, which I'm obsessed with, like, I love it, was a bit, like, dead. And the smell was not Christmas tree. It was dead plant, which made me really upset. And I probably felt more upset than I should have about a plan. But I'm gonna bring it back to life. I'm gonna bring it back. I can do it. I've done it with other plants and I can do it with this one. So I literally just like put loads of water in it. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I have loads of plants, but I have no idea how you look after them. Mm. So I put loads of water in it. I literally sat there and I don't know why I was, I was like, am I like just waiting for it to like grow back green? Like, I, I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, I just sat and watched it for a while. And today it still looks like shit. So, um, yeah, so that's dead. Mm, but half of it's still green. So, there's hope. Um, yeah. I 
can't even remember what I was saying. Something about Instagram, digital detox, definitely do one. Like, it, I think these days the issue is we don't allow ourselves to get bored. Like, we don't allow ourselves to just sit and do nothing. And if you're in a restaurant with friends or, like, even in, like, the, the advert break of a, like, TV programme, instead of just, like, sitting and just being with ourselves, we instantly go on our phone and just pick it up and just go in it. And, like, it's so crazy. Like, we cannot even be with ourselves for, like, five minutes while someone goes to the toilet or there is some adverts on we have to immediately like hop on our phone and it's kind of it's kind of a buffer i guess to not feeling awkward i don't know i don't know but i need to I think we all need to learn to like be okay with not doing something and not constantly being on our phones and um, I was listening to a really, really interesting um, masterclass in um, the Calm app that I have. So I have black stuff all over my fingers. I'm not sure what it is. Um, meditation app. And I found it has like all these masterclasses and it's so interesting. I was listening to the one that is about like being like addicted to our screens and how it's so bad for us and how we just can't be apart for them from them. And like in like our generation, so like millennials or whatever, and, and younger than us, um, we're always like in arms reach of our phone. And it's just, it's just so crazy. And I feel like I just had a revelation and I've been slapped around the face and been forced to acknowledge my unhealthy habits with my phone. So, That needs to change. Um, and this week off that I had from social media, I just did loads of like journaling, loads of meditating, which was so good. And just kind of like forced me to think about like what I was hiding from, you know? Like, forced me to think about what I was doing and yeah I'm not gonna go too much into it because I'm still like figuring shit out like I don't know what else mm, we put our Christmas tree up so that's cute it's all Christmas and cute in here we had a real tree last year um and that was awesome um but we live in a coach house which means it's like so it's kind of like a flat i guess so it's up a flight of stairs it's all up our living room is upstairs um and when we had to take the tree out after christmas it was a logistical nightmare trying to get it out and all the pine needles went everywhere and i'm literally now a year later still finding pine needles everywhere in my house because we've got really like deep pile carpet and i'm still finding all these pine needles and oh, it was just, it was just absolute chaos. Like there was literally Christmas tree all over my carpet that my hoover broke and I said, pick them all up by hand. It was a nightmare. So this year we've got a fake tree because ain't nobody got time to be individually picking up pine needles again this year. Honestly. I genuinely wish like a camera crew would follow my life around because you just wouldn't believe half the shit that happens to me. It's... It's just, you couldn't write it. Couldn't write it. So, the, over the last few days, I've been releasing some super exciting projects, um, workshops that I'm going to be doing. Um, well, starting now and then mainly into the new year. Um, and they're all kind of based around something that I'm super passionate about, which is self-care. So, one of the things that I'm going to be doing in January is it's for people in my area um, is a self-care workshop so I want to get like a group of women together because I know like January can be such a miserable time of year and I know that I always get like January blues and the weather's horrible and everyone's like broke and it's just shit 
and we were all a bit stressed post Christmas and we have to get back to work and ugh, whatever. So I wanted to do something that was gonna like lift up on spirits, something to look forward to that isn't super expensive, but it's gonna be so good for you for like recharging yourself, ready for the new year, starting feeling amazing. So I'm gonna be doing a self-care workshop. I'm not exactly sure of the dates yet. So that's all to be confirmed. So keep an eye on my Instagram or sign up to my mailing list i will pop it in the description box below so you can pop your details in and get signed up so you hear about that first um but essentially it's going to be um a talk with me about why self-care is so important um we are going to do a delicious long stretch like really focusing in on areas of tension um like stress tends to be held in the upper back and through the neck of the body so we'll focus a lot there um so a nice long delicious stretch um and then we're going to do some mindful breathing and a little bit of guided meditation and at the end we're probably gonna have some like snacks and you know it's me your girl loves the snacks so we'll probably have some snacks um and for that i'm thinking of doing like two like tiers of tickets so one would just be like standard ticket where you just come along to the workshop and you just pay for the ticket for the workshop and then like a vip ticket which you will get like a little self-care goodie bag. So some like really incredible discounts and just really like nice goodies in there as well to take away with you um, to continue that self-care experience. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about that. It's gonna be so, so good. So that is in January, keep your eyes peeled for that. Also something else that I am doing that I'm starting from now is like individual self-care experiences. So similar to the self-care workshop, but I can either come to your house or you can come to my house and I'll create like a beautiful, blissful, zen oasis for you with like candles and fairy lights. And it'll be so perfect for like before Christmas to just chill you the F out before all the chaos um, of Christmas and Christmas shopping and seeing family and hosting and making food and all that kind of stuff. Like Christmas is incredible and it's amazing and I love Christmas, but it's definitely such a busy time of year. And it's so easy to just forget about ourselves and forget about our self care and all that kind of stuff. So I really wanted to create an experience for women that they can give themselves permission to have time for themselves, to take time out, focus on themselves, recharge their energy, um, just like replenish themselves so they feel really good for Christmas and feel energized and ready rather than feeling absolutely exhausted and like crappy. Um, so I'm starting running with those. If you want any more information, then just drop a comment below and I can send you a message or an email. Um, but again, all that information is sent out via my mailing list. Those girls get first dibs on everything. So if you want to be the first to know everything, you need to get on a mailing list. Also, personal training wise, I'm going to be doing a January offer. Um, so it's going to be five personal training sessions with me at Riverside Fitness Gym in Bridgewater. So obviously it's for local people only. Um, for So five PT sessions and a free personalized written like workout plan. So I'll make it specifically for you, depending on what your goals are and what your um, like current commitments are, etc. cetera. Um, all of that for only a hundred pounds. So that's a really good offer for January. I know January can be a little bit tight for money, which is why I've done that massive discount for you. So you can still start the year feeling like active and really healthy and happy and empowered and just feeling really strong and really good, um, ready to take on the rest of whatever 2019 throws us. Cause I'm sure it's gonna be crazy. Um, what else? Oh, also with the um, self-care like individual experiences, I also offer them via Skype. So if you are not in my area, um, then you can still do that with me. Um, because I know not everyone that follows me on here or Instagram, whatever, is based around my area, which is cool, that's awesome. So I do also offer that via Skype, which is exciting. I'm also thinking, thinking about doing, again, this would be local, um, like a dance workshop like to improve confidence. So I trained as a dancer um, and like I don't dance anymore. I stopped because of a back injury and because I just wasn't feeling it, you know? I just feel like 
it was just not great for my mental health and anyway i'm not gonna go into all that now but i trained as a dancer and i don't dance anymore and i really fucking miss it so i want to do a workshop because i love it and loads of my clients have said like they would love to do like something kind of dancey and loads of people kind of suggested to me like why don't you do a dance class but i just can't commit to doing like a regular dance class so i thought it'd be really awesome to do like a workshop like a sassy confidence dance workshop we'll do like corner work i would do like a little combo to some real like sassy girl power song anyway so i'm excited about that if you're excited for that and you'd come give a little thumbs up or comment below but yeah um haven't been on um youtube for a while now because i was a bit of a hot mess and not in a good place but um i want to get back into it and kind of vlog or you know do videos whatever again properly so any suggestions or ideas or anything you want me to talk about or vlog or film or whatever let me know in the comments below so yeah any ideas let me know what you want to see because i would love to do something kind of like interesting that you want to see mm, yeah so that is good timing i have finished just like finished eating so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this little mini life update catch up girly chat mcbang mcbang i don't know how you say it whatever with me um let me know what you want to see in the next videos and i will see you in the next one don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on updates and subscribe to my mailing list the link is in the description box and i will see you in the next one bye